What's up, people? It is 5:31, July 9th, 2012, and 19 years ago today, I plopped out of my mom's vagina and broke her ass bone. <laughs> That's actually a true story. Today is my birthday. And I did break my mom's ass whenever she gave birth to me. <laughs> it is July 9th and it's my birthday. And I cry if I want to cry if I... Oh God, I'm so sorry. I'm just a little bit excited. I'm about to go eat dinner with my family. And then who knows what I'm going to do after that. Um, You may say, hmm, this looks a little bit different than Battlefield 3. Hmm. When did this map come out on Battlefield 3? Well... I wouldn't be able to answer that because it hasn't. I don't even know if it will. Because this is Battlefield Bad Company 2 and I freaking love this game. This is one of my most favoritest games ever. And that sounded really homosexual. And it's it's just like I have so much fun playing this game. Whenever I play this game, every time I play this game, it never fails. And I don't think it'll ever get old for me. But yes, this is Battlefield Bad Company 2. And I'm defending on Cold War. And um, I'm using the GOL because, I don't know, everyone seems to either use the M24 or the M95. The M95 because it's a one-shot kill every single time. And then, I don't even know why people use the M24, honestly. But I like to use guns that's like kind of like random, like out of the blue, like out of the usual. I kind of I kind of like to use those kind of guns. I'm not saying the GOL is. I'm just saying more people tend to use the M95 or the M24. And I just prefer using the GOL. That's the same thing like in Battlefield 3 when I used the KH-2002. I've never really seen anyone ever use that except for me and like a few other people. So I was like, yo, I'm just going to make this my favorite gun. And then the AUG came out, the AUG A3, and now that's my favorite gun, even though I know still people still use it. It's just my favorite gun. But partly because it was uh, one of my favorite guns in Battlefield Bad Company 2. And you'll see me use it in this gameplay. And as soon as I figured out that they were going to have it in Battlefield 3, I was like, oh my god, I have to use it. And it's a lot different. The guns in Battlefield Bad Company 2 versus Battlefield 3 are 180 degrees opposite from each other. Battlefield Bad Company 2 has no recoil. Um, the, the bullets have much, much less drop, and, um, it's just a whole lot different than Battlefield 3. Now, this is my favorite sniping spot on this map. It's in a tree on the side of the hill, and people don't usually see you there. Um, and if, if they take that tree out, you're screwed. But if they don't take the tree out, people never really see you in this spot. Um... I think the most I've had was 37 kills on this spot with the sniper rifle, just shooting them coming down the hill and all the snipers on the mountain and stuff. And um, to have, for it to be like, I guess, in, what is it, 90 tickets, 100 tickets, 80, 89 tickets, 80, some kind of tickets like that, 37 kills is a lot of, that's a lot of the tickets. Like, that's gonna, that's gonna, detri that's gonna be very detrimental to their team. And um, it's uh this is a very good spot and I love it. That's I'm, I always go here whenever. I don't I, I don't I honestly I don't snipe very much. But whenever I'm defending on these two bases, I always snipe because I just love this spot and you can get a lot of kills and you can have a good overlook on on Alpha. But I didn't on this spot. That stupid branch was in the way. But there you can you can have a good view on Alpha. I barely missed this UAV. Look at that. If I'd actually use that shoot. Like, to, to have it moving, like, guessing that it was about to move, but it wasn't moving, surprisingly enough. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite maps, Cold War is, um, along with, I would say, Valparaiso. I don't know what the hell that guy was doing. He was knifing, he was knifing the shadow. The shadow pissed him off, and he had to knife it. Now, um, be sure to look at the sniper on top of this mountain after I shoot him over here. It's, it's quite funny, um, what he does. But, yeah, that guy was pissed off at the shadow and decided to try and knife it, and uh, it didn't work. What, what, right here it goes, right here it goes. Just just look, you'll see. Um, like I said, Valparaiso is one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite maps, and um, so is, uh, Air is it Erica Harbor? 
don't know if it's Erica Harbor or Erika Harbor, whatever the hell it is. It was those two Valpari so Cold War and then Erica Harbor are all I love those maps. They're freaking awesome. Battlefield Pack Company 2 is just so fun, man. Like all the maps, all the game, all the game. Well, I only really played Rush, but it's just it's an epic game. It will never get old for me, and I will always love it. Um, dude, what I was dealing with right here, the, all the snipers go on top of that mountain. It's it's nothing like, like what are you accomplishing, man? You're not gonna do anything. You're very visible. You're very easy to shoot. I don't understand why people think that that's like the best spot ever. But um, this is badass. Like you want to see badassity? Like I said, 19 years ago, 19 years ago today, July 9th, 1993. Shit got real. Like, that's officially when shit got real when I was born. Like, like, all this, sh the shit of all, of allness got the realest. That's when shit got real. But shit is real right now. Cause I'm in this freaking truck thing. And I'm gonna run somebody over. Look at him. He, how can you not see the giant ass truck? All he's gotta do is shoot the barrels, the red barrels in the back. Look at this bitch. Ran his ass over like what how can you not notice the giant ass truck coming up right behind you man that's like like are you serious <laughs> I, like you, you gotta hear it i mean there's no way you couldn't hear it you can hear the little uav when it's flying like i know he heard that big ass truck right behind him and he was almost under that like pole rail like fallen thing and uh he just got like splattered and um Dude, oh my gosh, that right there, that's one thing that I love from Battlefield Bad Company 2 way more than Battlefield 3. Like, way more. The knifing. The knifing is like 5,000 times better in Bad Company 2 than it is in BF3. Like, in BF3, the only way to knife someone is to, like, either get lucky or, like, just, you gotta be, like, behind them and sneak up on them and be all stealthy and, like, it just, it, like, puts you in that stupid animation. Like, you see that right there? I still got his tags, and I still knifed him, but I didn't, like, have to sneak up on him, and I wasn't behind him, and it didn't, like, glitch out and all that stupid stuff. Like, just let us knife him. Like, like just stab him like I did that guy. Like, if you're in a fight, you're not gonna, like, have to, you're not gonna, like, push him down. They're not just gonna forfeit and go into an animation and let you take their tags. Like, no, what the fuck? I just stabbed the dude in the face. I didn't have to, like, I didn't have to, like, wait. And like go into an animation and all that stupid crap. So that's one thing that I love from Battlefield Bad Company 2. Way more than I do than I do Battlefield 3. Like it's not even close. The knifing is way better in Bad Company 2. But I've already went off on my rant. Now this is one of my favorite spots defending this map. I'm using the AUG. But uh, usually I get the grenade launcher. I have the shotgun. Like the underslung shotgun for some reason. And um, But usually I put on the grenade launcher. And uh, I blow the corners out of this building. As you can see, I try to do it right here. I blow the corners out. And um, you can see, you can overlook all the left. You can overlook all the right. And um, I don't think pe people usually don't really look up whenever they're running after the base that much. So, I mean, usually, unless you just really start to annoy them and you just really start to plow them down, that's really a good spot. I don't really know why I'm giving you guys tips on this map. On, like, this map on Bad Company 2. But no one, no one even plays this anymore. But I'm giving you some damn tips, and you're gonna accept them. All right. So I mean, if you play this map again, then you'll know what to do. Now I do end up freezing at the end of this fucking map. You'll see a sniper trotting in position, levitating above a little rock, and then that's when you know I freeze. Like I was like, whoa, that dude's lagging. Okay, fuck. I guess I just got kicked. But I couldn't get kicked because it's nobody's server. So I just I, la I friggin' lost connection. Stupid shit like that. Um, but thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked the commentary. I hope you leave, leave a like for my birthday, you guys. Oh my goodness. Leave a like just for my birthday. This is the only, only video I'm going to ask for you to leave a like. I hope I get like more than 10 likes for my birthday, hopefully. But um, leaving a like is free, by the way. It is free. But uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe for more content. There you saw the sniper levitating. Um, leave a like. Share it with all your friends. And family, maybe not family, because I did use a little word, a little bit of wordy dirds in there. There's a sniper falling down the hill. Thank you for watching this video. I'm the Jovahead, and I am out.